Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PWE, the final episode before Final Resurrection, our final pay-per-view of the season. This is our season finale, and for our season finale, we are going to find out exactly who... We are going to find out who is going to be in the six-man elimination international championship match with our first two matches as Kazuchika Okada comes out to the ring. He will go one-on-one -on -one with Claudio Castagnoli to start off the night here on PWE, the final episode of season three. It's been an incredible season. We have seen new tag team champions. We have seen debuts. We have seen returns. We have seen new match types. And it is only going to get better as we go into Allegiant Stadium for our last pay-per-view of the season and now we await the arrival of Claudio Castagnoli as his music hits. And his opponent from Switzerland weighing in at 232 pounds, Clown E. O. Claudio Castagnoli and Kazuchika Okada gotta be some fans dream match about to happen right here on PWE television and one of these men will be going to final resurrection in Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas Nevada and we will find out who exactly is going to final resurrection because we have this match and also in our next match after this it will be MJF going up against hangman Adam Page and the winner of that match will be added to the six-man elimination match. Now, the competitors that are in the match so far are the international champion Tyler Drake, Will Ospreay, Adam Cole, and Brian Danielson. In this match, just now starting collar and elbow tie-up. I don't know what Kazuchika Okada was going for in the beginning, punching the air. But wait a minute, Claudio Castagnoli springboard drop kick to the floor. And Claudio on the top rope, what's he looking for here? Claudio. Oh, and a drop kick to Kazuchika Okada. And a clothesline so far. This match has been all Claudio. Let's see if Okada can turn it around and oh! Flips him over on the floor and now brings him back into the ring. And oh, it looks like Okada is going for a cover, looking to end it early. A count of one and a kick out. Claudio Castagnoli is a very strong individual, as is Okada. You can see it both in their physiques, but they are going at it for a shot at the international title. We already know some of the matches for Final Resurrection. Oh, and what a zigzag. And we already know some of the matches for Final Resurrection. We know that Jay White will face Andre Graves for the television championship. We know Shane Roach will face off against Kenny Omega. We do know that Gabriel Genocide will defend the PWE World Heavyweight title in the main event against Chris Danger. And we also know that whoever wins this match will be added into the PWE International Championship six-man elimination match. This is the first test of Tyler Drake's title reign. 
And Tyler Drake is not going to be happy about this. But Claudio Castagnoli spinning around Okada and slams him down. Cover here. Referee counts. And a kick out from Kazuchika Okada. Oh, and it looks like, and it looks like Claudio's going for it. Claudio, neutralizer. That could be it for Okada. Oh, and a kick out from Kazuchika Okada. Okada still in the match. Claudio can't believe it. Claudio middle rope. Oh, and out of the way. And look at this. Tombstone pile driver. Oh, and look at this. Rainmaker. From Kasuchiko Okada, the cover on Claudio and a kick out. And Okada is in disbelief. These two men hitting each other with their finishing moves. And somehow both men were able to kick out. Oh no, and now Claudio reverses. It looks like Okada was going to go for a high risk move. Spinebuster by Claudio though. And Okada, look at this, oh, head right on the knee, cover here, is it enough, oh, and a kick out from Claudio, Claudio almost had it, and now, what's Okada going to do? Okada going to step back into the ring. I don't know what he was going to go for there. He was debating it. And a big uppercut from Claudio in the corner. Fireman's carry. Gets out of it. Oh, and right on the knee once again. Cover here. Oh, Claudio and a kick out. Claudio Castagnoli staying alive in this match. Oh, and look at this, a little roll-up action. Looking to get rid of Claudio any way he can. Oh, and a kick out from Claudio. Oh, and a big uppercut. And another one. And now, spine buster from Claudio Castagnoli. And now stomps on the knee. And now targeting the knee of Okada, looking to break him down. Oh, and a cover here. Oh, and not even a one count. Okada's offended by that. And now, Claudio spinning him around, slams him. Cover here. Oh, and a kick out from Okada. Oh, and a slam. And a backbreaker. Spine Buster and Claudio calling up Okada for a neutralizer for the second time in this match. Cover. Oh, Claudio got the win. Claudio advances. Claudio Castagnoli advances to the match at Final Resurrection. He is now in the six-man elimination match.
for the International Championship, but who will be the next man to enter? As MJF goes up one-on-one -on -one against Hangman Adam Page. Let's go ahead and get this match started. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Long Island, New York. Weighing in at 226 pounds, MJF. MJF now has the opportunity. To be like Claudio Castagnoli and get entered into this match. This would be big for MJF, if he could get added into this international championship match at uh, Final Resurrection, the final pay-per-view of the season as we enter our season finale. And here comes the chat, not the challenger, but his opponent tonight. Hangman Adam Page has the same opportunity as MJF. Just one of these men have to get a pinfall or a submission in this match. And one of them will have a ticket to the last event. They will have a ticket to Las Vegas. They will have a ticket to Allegiant Stadium. And this is going to be a very very interesting match as we find out the final participant in the six-man elimination match as we have now confirmed Tyler Drake, Will Ospreay, Brian Danielson, Adam Cole, Claudio Castagnoli and the final member will be either be MJF or Hangman Adam Page. This is going to be an interesting match. There is MJF, there is Hangman Adam Page. One of these men go on to Final Resurrection, and we're going to find out just exactly who that is going to be. Oh, and look at this. And a DDT from MJF. MJF now taking control of this match. And now lifts up. Oh, and look at this. What is MJF going for here? MJF lifts up the arm. And a superplex off the top rope. MJF. Going for a cover, kick out at two from Hangman Adam Page. It lifts him up, and what's he going for here? Oh, a little roll-up action. A kick out at one from Hangman Adam Page. Hangman wants the same opportunity as MJF, and now these two. Hangman just balling up his fist and punching MJF, and now grabs the arm stomps the back and stomps the head and now grabs the arm puts it behind his back grabs the other arm and he is grabbing the fingers and now puts his knees to the back of MJF and now slamming MJF's head on the mat Oh, and look at this, a reversal from MJF. Oh, and just chokes out 
Hangman Adam Page and now stomping all over. Oh, and look at this. Hangman now spinning elbow, knocking down MJF cover here from the ref. Oh, and not even a one count. Springboard went for the forearm, misconnected. Oh, and look at this. Crossroads, busting open Hangman cover here. Oh, and a kick out from Hangman Adam Page. And MJF can't believe it. Oh, and look at this. Hangman setting it up. Dead eye. Cover. Oh, and a kick out from MJF. And Hangman Adam Page is furious. Oh, but look at this. Hangman in trouble. And MJF looking to go for it. Heat seeker on Adam Page. The cover. Oh, and a kick out from Hangman. But MJF roll up here, but the ropes break it up. Goes for another ropes, break it up. Oh, and a running knee from Hangman Adam Page. Rolls him up again, and the ropes break it up again. Hangman gonna go out to the ring and uh, and look at MJF. Maxwell Jacob Friedman at his finest. Oh, another roll up and the ropes break it up again. MJF is just trying to roll up. Hangman Adam Page right now. Oh, off the ropes. Oh, and a big punch, pop-up punch to MJF. Oh, and look at this. Tried to grab a hold of MJF. Hangman Adam Page did. Oh, wait a minute. Roll up here. Oh, and a kick out. MJF almost had it. He was so close to go in the final resurrection. But the match continues. Hangman Adam Page throws him in the corner and tosses him out to the ring. Oh, and now punching the head of MJF. And now MJF going to roll out. And Hangman Adam Page flies through the air with a forearm. Oh, and <laughs> went for a standing moonsault. Hangman, oh, look at this. He just flipped off Hangman Page in a spinning elbow. Oh, who knows how Max is feeling after that. Oh, and the kicks to the head. And Hangman Adam Page now kicking the head once again. And now Hangman going up to the top rope. What can Hangman be looking for here? Oh, shooting star press cover. Oh, and a kick out. Oh, and look at this. Hangman Adam Page. MJF both working extremely hard. Oh, and a big kick. And now Hangman going up to the top rope once again. What is Hangman looking for here? Another one, but this time on the back. Still goes for the cover. Oh, and a kick out from MJF. And now, Hangman setting up for 
Dead eye! Cover! Oh, and a kick out from MJF! Oh, and the hangman! Moonsault off the top rope! Oh! Went for the clothesline! But it didn't work! And now... MJF! Heat Seeker! Crossroads! And, oh, he's going for another one! He's going for another! Heat Seeker connects! And now, MJF with the salt of the earth locked in on Hangman Adam Page. Is Hangman going to tap here? Hangman barely holding on, just got hit with three finishing moves. And now the salt of the earth locked in. And Hangman taps. MJF is going to Final Resurrection. MJF is the last participant in the six-man elimination match. MJF. Hangman Adam Page did not have what it takes to beat MJF tonight. MJF was the better man, but we move on to our final two matches of the night as Tyson Adams goes one-on-one -on -one with Shane Roach. And in their main event, the PWE World Heavyweight Champion Gabriel Genocide goes one-on-one -on -one with Daniel Garcia. But for now, it is going to be Roach versus Adams. Here we go, Shane Roach versus Tyson Adams. It's about to happen right now. And here comes Tyson Adams. Tyson Adams made his debut at Opportunity for It All in the six-man Opportunity Briefcase ladder match the same way Shane Roach made his return. And Shane Roach is the Opportunity Briefcase holder, which means he can cash in any time by the end of Season 4 on the World Heavyweight Champion, whoever that may be, the current champion, Gabriel Genocide, will face Chris Danger at Final Resurrection. But here comes the opportunity briefcase holder. Assassin saying that the sword planner is dead, but Shane Roach has a date at Final Resurrection as he goes one on one with Kenny Omega. 
It's going to be an exciting match for sure. Kenny Omega and Shane Roach. Two men with the will to compete. And Roach is ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tyson Adams. There is Adams. There is the assassin Shane Roach. And now Tyson Adams and Shane Roach going to go at it here. Oh, and a kick. It looks like Tyson Adams is going for. Oh, what a move. I don't even know what to call that. Tyson Adams, very impressive. Oh, my gosh. And now Roach is ticked off. Roach is going to let all of his anger come out right here, right now. And a pop-up. Oh, no. Hurricane Rana reverse by Tyson Adams. Roach usually goes for the pop-up powerbomb. Tyson Adams has proven why he belongs in PWE. His first singles match is against Shane Roach. And a cutter to Roach. Roach has got to be shocked right now. Spins him around, drops him, cover. Oh, and a kick out from Roach. And Roach has got to be impressed with Tyson Adams. And a stop from Roach on Adams. And a super kick and a stomp to Tyson Adams. Rolls him over, goes for the pin. And a kick out from Tyson Adams. And Tyson Adams now on the outside. Don't want to do that because Roach can fly through the air just like that. Springboard sent on onto the outside. And Tyson Adams is in trouble. Or is he? Knee! Poison Rod and a Roach! These two men going at it. Into the corner. Oh, and what a chumpy leap. Oh, and not even a one count from Roach. Oh, hits him. Oh, and a kick out from Roach. Hits him with that Selena Del Sol, I want to call it. But we might call that the Adams Del Sol. And now, oh, Tyson Adams gets off of the top rope. And look at this. Oh, reversed by Roach. Fireman's carry. Once again, reversed by Roach. Oh, with the backbreaker. Butterfly backbreaker, not enough. To take Tyson Adams out and a kick right to the head. As Tyson Adams was down, Tyson Adams showing off his ability in a DDT. And Tyson Adams really putting the work on Roach. Roach has got to be impressed with Adams. But wait a minute. Roach. Pedigree. Cover on Adams. And a kick out from Adams. Roach can't believe it goes for another pin. Kick out from Adams. Oh, and, a, and an arm drag. And a nice kick and a leg drop.
And it looks like Tyson Adams is aiming and he's looking to fly. Suicide dive tornado DDT from Tyson Adams. Oh, right on the knees on the outside. And Roach sent over by the barricade by Adams. And Roach went for a super kick, didn't connect. Count of four, these men need to get back in the ring. Roach pulls him back into the ring. Oh, went for the clothesline. It was countered by Tyson Adams. And Tyson grabs him. Neck breaker. Cover here. Oh, and a kick out from Roach. Oh. Rip cord forearm. Oh, it sends him down. Butterfly suplex and Tyson Adams on the top rope. Frog splash. Cover. Oh, and a kick out from Roach. <coughs> <coughs> Knee to the face, Tyson Adams showing his heart out here tonight. And Roach, wait, going up to the top. But Tyson Adams rolling inside the ring, probably a smart idea. Oh, Roach misses the eclipse. Oh, and a reverse sling blade by Tyson Adams. What is Tyson Adams gonna do now? Oh, and look at this. Flatliner from Roach. Blue Thunderbomb. Roach going back to his old bag of tricks. And a spear. The cover. On Adams. Oh, and a kick out very late from Adams. But he's still alive in this match. Oh, went for a kick. It was counted and a drop kick to the back. And now, Tyson Adams on the top rope. What can he be looking for here? Close line. Outside, and Tyson Adams is fired up. Oh, in reverse, Roach gets back in the ring. And he tells Tyson Adams, come at me. Oh, wait a minute. Jumping leap once again. Goes for the cover this time. Oh, and a kick out from Roach. This match has been very insane. And it looks like he's going for the frog splash. He connects the cover. Oh, and a kick out from Roach. And Tyson Adams has Roach. Oh, and right on the knees once again. Goes for the cover. And a kick out at one from Roach. Oh, and drops him. Tyson Adams proving that he belongs in PWE, putting up a valiant effort against Shane Roach. A pioneer of PWE, a pillar if you will. The four pillars of PWE, Black Iron, Tyler Drake, Gabriel Genocide, and that man Roach. But oh, wait a minute. Roach, off the ropes, drop kick.
Wait a minute. Roach took off the turnbuckle. Pop up power bomb. Oh, and a low blow. And a low blow. Roach, why? And a spear. down gets up cover and beats Tyson Adams here is your winner the assassin Shane Roach Shane Roach wins here tonight now he grabs a microphone Kenny Omega what I just did to Tyson Adams is a message to you. You want me at Final Resurrection? That's fine. That's fine. Because the same result that happened at Opportunity for It All when you faced Tyler Drake for the International Championship is going to happen. But let's talk about it, Kenny. Let's talk about it. You lost then, and now you want me now. Okay. That's fine. Since I'm back, you want the Assassin versus the Best Bout Machine. That's fine, but we're going to do this my way. Two out of three falls. See you in Las Vegas, bitch. Ooh! Two out of three falls. Shane Roach versus Kenny Omega in a two out of three falls match. That's going to be very interesting. As we move on to our main event, though. Gabriel Genocide, the PWE World Heavyweight Champion, goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Daniel Garcia. Daniel Garcia's first main event in PWE since being in the company. Goes up against the World Heavyweight Champion before Genocide goes one-on-one -on -one with Chris Danger for the PWE World Heavyweight Championship. This ought to be a good one. And here comes the PWE World Heavyweight Champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Louisville, Kentucky. Weighing in at 235 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Gabriel Cole. Gabriel Genocide has a date in Las Vegas against Chris Danger for the International Championship. The final pay-per-view of the season. Gabriel Genocide has to realize that he has another man in his sights tonight, and that is Daniel Garcia. From Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 206 pounds, Daniel Garcia. Daniel Garcia, a very great technical wrestler. You've seen on PWE television the way he's able to lift men up bigger than his own size. And there's the signature dance. Daniel Garcia, he calls himself a sports entertainer, not a professional wrestler. We will see if he will be sports entertained and if he can beat the PWE World Heavyweight Champion before his big match at Final Resurrection. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, caught by Daniel Garcia. That's what I'm talking about. He's able to lift opponents bigger than him. 
But wait a minute, running knee! And now Genocide's upset. Genocide is pissed. And he gives him a super kick. And Genocide... Big knee! And Genocide throws Garcia in the corner. And now Genocide is going for a big boot! Right to Daniel Garcia's head and Genocide climbing up. Looking to send a message to Chris Dater. Stop to the midsection of Daniel Garcia. Oh, wait a minute, roll up here. Cover. And a kick out from Daniel Garcia. And Daniel Garcia looking to go to the outside. But Genocide flies through the air. Genocide is on fire right now. And Genocide picks him up. Bluegrass kick. Cover here. On Garcia. Kick out at two. From Garcia. And Garcia kips back up. But gets rolled up immediately. Cover here. Kick out from Daniel Garcia. And a big clothesline. Another one. Oh. Oh it slips. Genocide down. Oh and a big clothesline to Genocide, cover here. Oh, and a kick out from Genocide. And Daniel Garcia, oh, he's going for the Dragon Tamer. He's looking to lock in the Dragon Tamer. Oh, Genocide, is Genocide gonna tap right here? No, gets out of it. And he puts him in an East River Downs! Cover here on Garcia! Kick out by Garcia! What a sequence of moves we just saw! Oh! Spinning kick in the corner! Oh, big knee, runs over, and a big boot. Genocide has completely pummeled Daniel Garcia. And now looking to roll him up. Oh, and a kick out from Garcia, but goes for a pin anyway. And a kick out from Garcia once again. Off the ropes, big boot from Garcia. Oh no. Oh, what a reversal. I wonder if Daniel Garcia is going to be okay after that Gabriel genocide. He said, oh, Daniel Garcia says he's not faced by that, but he might be faced by this. East River Downs! Cover! What? A kick out! Kicked out of the East River Downs, not once, but twice! Daniel Garcia proving his weight at a close line. And now, Garcia with a pile driver on Genocide. Picks him up. Dragon Tamer for the second time. Will Genocide tap right here? And Genocide gets out of it. Genocide was looking for something. Side slam. Daniel Garcia. 
trying to keep himself in this match. Oh! Ubrass kick! And Genocide call it up! And now, Genocide with the third East River Downs busting open Garcia! The cover! And that's ball game! Genocide, the world champion, gets the win. Here is your winner, Gabriel Cole. Genocide gets the win and now grabs a microphone. Chris Danger, the last time I faced you was at Misery for the International Championship. And I beat you for your International Championship. And the same result will happen with this championship because nobody has been able to beat me and I have been on a dominant reign and these people love me. Listen, Danger, I respect you. I honor you. But at the end of the day, at Final Resurrection, live in Las Vegas, I am walking out the world champion no matter what. I'll see you in Las Vegas. Good luck. You're going to need it. Wow. Gabriel Genocide saying that he's going to walk out of Final Resurrection. Still, the PWE World Heavyweight Champion. Will that happen? We will find out. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed the final episode before our final pay-per-view of the season final resurrection we will see you then good night everybody